Today, I get the absolute pleasure of showing you the first fuel plants on the save. And oh boy, is it coming along very nice. And oh my god, I don't even know where to begin with this build. It's really not that big, but it did take a wild build. Now, we did build this on stream. And if you guys are curious and want to see the VODs, right now they are on Twitch. And hopefully pretty soon, we should be multi-streaming back to YouTube. So the VODs will be on YouTube. But right now, they're just on Twitch. So if you guys want to see the whole process, you are more than welcome to go over there. But yeah, one of my favorite shots from that video is that first one that shows the space elevator here. I didn't really plan to put the space elevator over here, but it kind of just worked out that we had this open space and uh, kind of threw it down here. So last episode, we kind of just had platforms and such getting the production ready. And now we have a fully working fuel plant along with a lot of the designing done. Now it's not completely perfectly done. There's still a lot of touch-ups that I want to do over time, but it really is um, at the point where I needed to make a video. So this is actually not like the entrance at all, but it is one of my favorite angles on the building. We definitely spent a good amount of time uh, on this side for no real reason other than uh, I wanted it to not be super boxy. But there's also the packaging area. Now this part of the build really sticks out and doesn't really flow with the rest of the build. It has this pink, white, and orange color scheme going. And again, there are parts like this where I have to build back. This area has probably the most amount of just missing pieces that I have to go back and check because this was the beginning of the build. There's a lot of testing and whatnot going on. But something I really need to focus on to make sure I get done is the elevator uh, kind of show right here. Uh, that does need to get done for sure. So like I said, not completely done. And this would be a uh, kind of like one of those projects I would have for when we're streaming and we want to take a break from something, we can come over here and just start adding much a little stuff. And you might be thinking this part right here is not done, but actually I want to leave this area open just for fun. I think it would be uh, kind of fun. Yeah. I want to go over this part right here, which we showed in the little video earlier. This is blueprinted. Uh, very nice. And I was having some great time just making this and I think it looks pretty cool. There's definitely some more uh, stuff we could do with this and expand on this design. But yeah, I was just experimenting and I like using these pipes, man. I really like using the pipes and the floor holes, which is what these are right here. This is just a floor hole. Uh, so we spaced out some foundations, added some floor holes, and well, this is kind of the design you get and it looks really awesome. It works well with the steel uh, foundation and the uh, basic walls up here. Color scheme works well and it still has that blue and uh, blue and orange as we have kind of throughout the, the whole floor up here. This hallway is honestly one of my favorites. Um, I don't have Lumen on right now just because I'm not trying to kill my PC. I'm gonna try and overlay some Fix-It Cam shots as the mod is fully public and available. So if you guys are curious on how I get uh, some of these more cinematic shots, that is how we do it. This little entrance right here is actually blueprinted. So I can highlight this. You can see it's blueprinted. It's actually like a little bit of a double door. You can see there's two doors here. It just has a little bit more you know, movement, a little bit more things happening there. Um, I just added that in. And then this hallway, which is still kind of under construction, we were debating whether we want to add in a slope here, like so, all the way down, and add lights on top of it. Because uh, when we turn on Lumen, this area gets kind of dark. And this is another uh, kind of wall that I wanted to leave open, and I, I really like leaving these open, open floors on factories now. They're, I mean, some of my favorite stuff, um, rather than boxing everything together. And ironically, one of my favorite parts of this uh, build is the, our little walkway that we have that kind of wraps around the backside here. So from the field generators over here, uh, we can kind of walk through this walkway, and we have these massive arches that come and loop underneath and kind of support it with like these big loops, right? And again, this isn't needed, but this was just an extra piece, I feel like, uh, that would uh, that would look good. So we already looked at the first hallway, which is like this one right here. The main blueprint here is uh, this pipe blueprint. Uh, everything else is kind of just built by hand by zooping. And the packagers here are also not uh, blueprinted. But something that is blueprinted is the barrier light, which I think a lot of people know how to do. We're gonna make a video on basic walkways uh, and designing and stuff like that, and this will be included in that. But it's very, very simple to do. All you do is grab yourself uh, a sign. So you grab yourself a three, or sorry, four meter sign. Let's do it this way. You place it down, and then you aim at the bottom corner of the either left or right, whichever one you want, and it'll drop down by one tick just like that. So you can see, you can drop it down by one tick, and that way it doesn't have the pole sitting on it. We can then take a barrier and line it up at the edge and just zoop it, zoop it inside, right? So we can do that. Uh, but if we do that, uh, we can't change this. We have to change the sign prior to putting the barrier on it. Let's just change this to white. Then we can add our barrier on top of it. And if you make it in a blueprint designer, you can kind of have this effect uh, easily readily available. And so you'll see that if I go to my blueprints here, I have this tab called light bars right here. 
and we have white orange and blue so as we need light bars which is what i'm calling these right now uh, as i need these i will make them and uh you know add them to the blueprint designer but this hallway is one of my favorites i love it again still still could have more work done to it but you'll notice up here is that we have some light coming from up here very top and uh, we don't have access to that right now i haven't quite made a walkable access to up there but we can just hop inside like let's say this window right here and up here is just another maintenance walkway access which again is not needed but i thought it might be a little fun uh it still doesn't have access down to the walking floors down there which i do need to do but um that will come up later the second hallway here if we can just jump down here was actually the first hallway we designed so this was the first one that we did and uh we did not blueprint all the refineries so if we hold uh in blueprint mode you can see that these refineries are not in a blueprint uh, so a lot of this is not blueprinted but what is is this thing right here this beam rotation thing i don't even know what you would call this but basically this is a blueprint that we made uh, and we take a a filler frame and put it on a beam we can then rotate these so if we were to place these like this you can see we can place let's say two like this we can delete the first one and while aiming on here we can hold control you can scroll and then you change the zoom and you can zoom it inside the next one so basically you just do this and you can do this at an angle so you can make your initial snap point like let's say off of a uh, angled beam and you can do this and make a interesting little circle like pattern thing which is what we did here and again this would be available on the uh, patreon if you guys wish um and then we've also clipped in lights inside the pillars here um into the refinery uh hitbox there just to add again a bit more lighting we have the big blue light bar up here but then we also have again more lighting here orange orange and blue is the big theme here but i really like the copper big fan of the copper here but it's pretty much the same all the way down pretty easy to make and not too difficult but something you'll notice is that this is actually a refinery so this is one of the uh, this took me a while actually this took me way too long um definitely was having a bit of a skill issue but there's this light inside the refinery this is actually an led panel that you cannot get unless you delete the refinery you cannot get the hitbox for the led panel that's in there and the way i had to do it was to line it up was to get it on a frame wall that was offset by a 20 centimeters or so, which is a very weird amount of distance to get. And then you snap it to that and then you can nudge it in a little bit and it kind of just fills in that that uh, void. Because this light was supposed to be here, at least at the time of making this, these refineries did not have a light. No matter what I did, only one of them had a light. And so I decided to manually get the light in there and uh, now we have them all the time basically so these are just led panels or display panels i should say and then again our third hallway over here is that one from before we repurposed one of our previous blueprints the arch blueprints and basically replaced the whole middle section with these frame pillars the big frame pillars which are pretty much square boxes and we uh we just put in some lights and beams and stuff like that and this is kind of what we came up with. Again, I, I realized that this field plant is early game and I don't need to be spending a whole ton of time. And something we went over last time was our field generator uh, blueprints, which are now all placed and working at 100%. We're doing 25,300 megawatts, but that also includes some power from other areas uh, that I will have to go tear down temporarily, because really we should only be at two, uh, 20,000 from here and then um, 500 from the augmenter and then 10% on top of that. 22,550, I believe is what we should be at after this is all said and done. But so for the production, as we went over it last uh, episode, I'm not really gonna repeat myself too much on that. Um, it is packaged uh, diluted fuel, so it is kind of a whole process. Uh, there are a couple things that we still need to do here that are not super big priority, but I would like to get done eventually, is the resin that we are sinking, which is being sunk somewhere down there. Um, I would like to send over to the refineries that we have all the way over here. As you can see, they're poking out right there. Um, those refineries are going to refine the resin into plastic and rubber, which is then going to be trucked from here back to our starter factory across the way, all the way over there. But how are we going to get plastic from the blue crater easily trucked from here all the way to our starter factory over here? And I have a great answer for you. Over the last few days, while finishing up this, we kind of have taken some breaks to work on our worldwide highway blueprints. With the Mark II blueprint designer, we get the 5x5, which doesn't sound like a huge increase, but it's going to allow us to do so many cool things. And I already have plans and some blueprints made. I'm not gonna show them this video, as that is not what this video is about. But next video, we will be 
well, doing highway stuff. And I'll be showing you guys how I lay down all the blueprints and those blueprints will be available pretty soon. Another thing, a uh, quick update is that I did delete the coal uh, platform. Uh, we just have some stuff sinking right here that'll get deleted and then that as well. But the main goal for this video has just been to showcase the design side of this build. We've already done the production, but the design side has been really fun to make. We've been doing it all on stream over at twitch.tv forward slash Kylo builds with a Z at the end instead of an S because that name was taken, unfortunately. If you guys are new to this channel, this is what we do. We design builds. We forego production a little bit. Sometimes we'll do less production and really focus on designing. That does mean that these videos take a long time to make. The starter factory build took about 80 hours. And currently at the time of recording, I'm at 200.5 hours on this current 1.0 save. Now there is a good amount of time spent uh, exploring to an extent and, and whatnot, uh, killing things for DNA capsules, all that jazz. But I just say that to notify you guys that it does take a while to build some of these things. And as these builds get bigger, because these are small builds, this is only a 600 line of oil uh, to make 20,000 megawatts. Think about it when we're making hundreds and hundreds of thousands of megawatts and massive production lines. It will take time. So if you guys want to see the whole process right now, you can go to Twitch. Soon enough, they will be on the VODs will be on uh, YouTube and I'll let you know when that happens but if you guys want to support me at all uh, going over and supporting on Twitch is uh, one of the easiest ways and also Patreon that way you guys have access to blueprints and save files we do a save file upload every month at the end of the month we just did our September one and at the end of October uh, we'll do the October one and you'll have all the blueprints kind of as they come out I didn't go over every single possible blueprint used like we have the fuel generator one we have the pipe wall thing um, we have the angled beam stuff we have the packagers down there but a lot of uh, this build was not blueprinted actually which is a little different for me but again with our highway that is definitely going to be a lot of blueprints and we're going to make sure we have a full set ready for you guys but i've been yapping for a good bit now um and i don't need this video to be 70,000 minutes long as it is just really a showcase video i'm going to leave you guys with some final shots of the build i would very much appreciate it if you like comment or subscribe if you wish um let me know what you thought down below if there's any techniques you've seen maybe used in this build that you don't think you know how to do uh, let me know down below and we can work on a video regarding those things because there's probably a lot of informative stuff that is not quite covered yet there's so much to this game so many small tips and tricks um and i don't really know how to condense them all into videos so you let me know what you want me to make and we will hopefully work on those but that's gonna do it for me hopefully yeah. you guys have a good rest of your morning evening afternoon yeah. whatever it is for you and uh, until next time hopefully catching the stream peace yeah. i'm sleep with words tongue shop you left in thirds you pitching verbs i knock it out i'm flipping birds while smoking herbs i'm blocking out what often hurts i'm moving herds it's me